adventures welcome to another adventures today we are back at the Nemaji State Forest I'm with my cousin right here and then my truck and then uh, we have uh, his CF Moto 1000 Overlander and then my Yamaha Kodiak 700 so today we're just gonna be riding kind of breaking in the CF Moto and go from there as you can see the size difference the CF Moto is a little bit bigger than the Yamaha so yeah, it should be a pretty fun trail ride today. And it looks like it's going to be a real dusty one too, so I'm not sure how much video I'm going to get. So it's going to be a lot of boring video, just a lot of me talking to you guys, and maybe some trail rides. You alright, B? Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, you're getting shot. Yeah, that's when we get shot. Oh. Yeah, I turned around. I saw you doing the backflip. I was like, oh man. Oh, that's for the record book. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad you're okay though. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, you know. Yeah, Tim, you said we jump off, right? We jumped off, we'll tie up. Oh, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I jumped off. Yeah. Oh, man, that's hot. Oh, man, that's hot. What we do is I can probably use my wrench. Yeah. See, that works. Here, my mama, what? Uh-huh. It's a little bit of a fuck here. Got this one, just punch the hood. Ooh, man, that scared me, B. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Hell, yeah. Nice look. Look out. Have you been before? Uh, with my Honda. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's safe. Whew. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this guy is exactly why you don't want to go by yourself because this can happen and this is a almost a thousand pound machine. So fully loaded, yeah, it's probably gonna be all over a thousand. And uh, if you get crushed or something, shoot your your SOL and if and it's it was hard for both of us just to tip it over. So that's why I had to use my ATV to tip it over and man never go by yourself. This is the Zex reason why you never do that but i'm glad my cousin is safe looks like uh, he came up on this berm right here and you can see where maybe he went a little too high and uh lost center of gravity and it just uh flipped over so yeah god get my heart pumping because as, as soon as i turn around i got to the point over there i turned around just to check on my cousin make sure he's still behind me and I just saw him jump up and uh, do a backflip or a front flip or something and man that was, that was scary to see but glad my cousin's all right for now we're just gonna do a inspection make sure everything's good make sure uh, no axles bent or or whatever and then uh we're just gonna continue trucking on and taking it slow so guys be safe out there so guys, yeah, we had to have a little radiator fluid uh, spilled right here, but I think that is from overflow from it, from it being upside down. Otherwise, everything looks good. I don't see any broken axles or any other anything that's broken. This fender is a little bent in, but that's just from uh, the pressure. Right now we're just going to let it sit, let all the fluid uh, fall back down to where it needs to be and go from there. Turn the ignition off so we're not using a battery. Hey, but we know the CF motor is built pretty tough, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time using my winch too. <laughs> Purse. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, yeah, it got pushed down. That's why. I want you push on this side. I think it's still rubbing. I think it's probably the whole bracket. Yeah. Oh, I see. Now. Okay. But I wonder if you can uh, try pushing it up more. Yeah. Yeah, it's clear. Clear? Okay. 
the good thing is only the bracket. I think that's kind of what saved your uh, handlebars and everything too. Yeah. Let me uh, back up. Okay. My turn, see how it turns out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, was it? Well, I think yeah. It was probably because it was rubbing or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it could be. Okay. Everything okay, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, seems to be fine. Okay. Does it feel any different than what you were riding, or? Uh, no, no, no different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, scratch means you saw other than that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this is just a bracket for uh, for hot knots in there. Yeah. And uh huh. I didn't really want it. I, I just take it off. But right. Since when it comes like that, I'll probably just rebend it back. Mhm. Mm yeah. Straighten it out. Yep, should be good then. Guys. All right, guys, I say we had a pretty fun day today. How about you, BD Jeff, on today? Yep, that was fun yeah. until I flipped it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But after all, yeah, it, it was mm -hmm. fun. So what do you think of your uh, new machine so far? Uh, so far, so good. So I like so it. Good. Yeah. Sweet. Like yeah, first time ATV owner. Mm -hmm. for me for the first time. Oh yeah. But other than that, yeah, it's a good machine. Look at that guys, first time he went for a 1,000 1, cc's. My first time I went for a 329 with a Honda. That's, this thing is a beast. I think even for a beginner, for the 700 might be a little bit too much too, but you gotta start somewhere, so. And uh, I can't beat the price of this machine and everything. We had a lot of fun today, 33 some miles. And uh, we made it back safely, so. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, follow your dreams, follow your passions. Make it happen, guys. We'll see you guys on the next video.